Welcome back everyone. I wasn't actually going to make a video on this, but it's a pain in the backside, so I'm going to. This is the headlight guard, the KTM Power Parts headlight guard for this beast. On paper, it looks like a really simple fix, but there's no instructions. There's a load of bolts and clips that come with it. I've done a little bit of digging, a little bit of pulling the bike apart, so I thought I'd run you through how to fit it just in case you're concerned you're going to break something you can't quite work it out yourself. You can see here on both sides there are two mounting points which are quite obviously in here and then up the top here you've got two more little mounting points. Now they quite clearly go underneath here and you can kind of see in there that there's those two bits there. The bits on the light guard are further apart than those two in there. There's two very small holes which I looked at and went, oh, how the bloody hell am I gonna get anything in there? So that was my first issue. Second issue, in the box, you get two slightly longer screws with spacers on and two short screws also with spacers on. But you also get these two clips. Now, doing a bit of digging, you can, now I've already loosened this, but you can see here there's two pop clips there. If I go around the other side and look down, you can now see these two holes here. It's probably easiest to take the screen out, so I'm gonna quickly take that off. There we go, she's looking a little bit more bald. I don't know whether you can see this. That is an oval shape, as are the holes on there. The way I'm putting these on is with, so these have got a thread in them, so if you put them in like this, try not to break anything. <laughs> now you need to be really careful with these because they will scratch up the plastic. There we go. So if I bring you back over here, so you're going in there like that, and then you can now hopefully see those screw heads that are in there. So just while I'm here, these are the two different types of bolts that I mentioned. They've, there's a slightly, they're the same length when it comes to thread. Uh, or a length of thread, should I say. One has got a slightly larger spacer, one is a standard. These ones go up the top, and the ones with the larger spacer go down the bottom. One thing that's worth doing, which I wholeheartedly recommend, is cleaning your headlight and the inside of the protector, because once you've put this on, you're not gonna be able to get it off very easily to clean it. I'm actually gonna use some Rain-X, which is like a, a hydrophobic coating. It just stops water sticking on the inside because I feel like that's gonna be a real pain to get to. So I'm gonna do that and I will catch you in a second when it's done. Now, something I'm not a massive fan of is the fact that it actually extends part. So the, I don't know if you can actually see that, the end of the light, or like light bezel, should I say, is there. So it actually extends past the light. I suppose that's obviously quite useful for if stones hit up. But yeah, I mean, it's quite subtle. You can't really see it. I'm just gonna put this bit back in here. So it should be quite a simple pop into place, push from the base. There we go, lovely and simple. And then it also covers up the clips quite nicely. So there we go, another really short video. Again, I wasn't actually gonna make this video, I was just gonna install it because it's a light protector until I worked out that it was a bit of a pig to do until you knew how to do it. One thing that is quite nice about this job is the only tool I used, bar a, a microfiber towel and some Rain-X, was a T30 Torx screwdriver. Really, really simple. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I doubt you will because it's a very straightforward video. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.